Are you ready to potate? We are going to be exploring this update with IBX Toy Cat, Ulraf, the developer from Mojang, and Bruno Danui. I tried not to get spoiled for this, so I don't know what's in it, aside from there being lots of poisonous potato references. There we go. I'm ready. I, I, I have no idea what to expect, really. Dude, me neither. Me neither. This is going to be... A little bit wacky. Oh, well, this all looks normal so far. Yeah, I wonder what could possibly go wrong. Oh, okay. There's oh, this whoa. very, very <laughs> special poisonous potato in this. Did everyone get to see oh. this? <laughs> okay, yeah. Yep, that's uh, that's definitely yes. a thing. I'm going to turn my GUI settings up a little bit so we can get this in high res. <laughs> I'm going to take the poisonous potato and, and one bone meal. Place a poisonous what? potato plant on your head to reveal the truth? Is what it says? Oh, okay. What? Okay. I see what's happening here. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the potato just told me to find a Minecraft village. I'm seeing the text now. Is this the Microsoft Assistant? Is this Clippy, but in poisonous oh potato God. form? Do you have any idea how difficult it is to write Java code? At least one of us does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, let's find a village. Cool, okay, I'm, I'm up to speed with everybody else's plot now. <laughs> I didn't realize this snapshot was going to have a story. <laughs> I am concerned that we all have to keep these on our heads, <laughs> so we're all just going to look like this for the remainder of the stream. I think the poisonous mm -hmm. potato is the most underrated food. You think we can cook poison potatoes on this? <laughs> I think we can do a lot more than that. <laughs> Judging by the screenshots <laughs> yeah, I've seen, go. I have a feeling we'll do a lot more with them. A relatively normal looking village as well, yes. Suspiciously normal. Okay, and there's at least one thing that is unusual. <laughs> there is some sort of pedestal in the center of the village. This kind of podium with a poisonous potato on it. What? I'll, I'll oh! It yep. Oh! Okay, yep, I, I may have skipped a bit. I've used a poisonous what? potato on this, and... Uh, Whoa. Now it's telling me that this okay. is a portal. <laughs> you step in and you go oh, through it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think this might be our one-way ticket to the potato dimension. Should we gear up a, like a little bit? Yeah, good idea. I think I'm going to bring some wood with me, but that's that's all I will bring. Oh, that's... I yeah, think... I brought some food. I, yeah, I, I, t I, I took a few breads if anyone needs them. I've got all the food I need. I have eight poisonous potatoes. At last, the potato dimension. I'm in. There's tons of potatoes around here. There's, it's, this is a potato block, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> there the bomb. Oh, no. There's potatoes oh. here just growing on dirt. I have a potato that's separate from the other potato. Well, snake tato. What, what is this? It looks like a normal potato, except when I hover over it, the tooltip says snake tato. Eat it. <laughs> I'm sure it's a great idea. Oh, oh god, it turned into a snake. Ah, it, 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 I, I'm more poisoned than I would be normally. <laughs> and it turned into I a different type of potato animals. with fangs. The trap door is awesome. I can also craft poisonous potatoes into a potato eye. I have a crafting recipe for that. Oh, okay. Oh, so, so that is wow. just an eye of ender, but it's leading yeah, us to way, something. I wonder if you can shear this sheep and what it drops. It is shearable. <laughs> Uh, Just not with okay, those shears, that. I guess. I'm gonna need a dictionary for some of this stuff. Potato pedicule? I found some potato melons over here. Potato fruit. <laughs> potato fruit I, is kind I, of cursed. I guess these are like potato sprouts. Oh, these are potato buds, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I say that like it's a totally normal thing. I'm acclimatized too quickly, <laughs> I, I, I feel like. What are these? Potato sprouts? Yep, okay. Makes sense. Yep, good. Should we head towards where the eye offenders were leading us? Or the eye potatoes? Right? I think <laughs> the, we should. I the think potato we should. eyes, yeah. It seemed to be heading down the valley a little bit. I can always make more if we need more, because you just need a poisonous potato to craft them. There are potato bats down here, guys. <laughs> okay, the, pota the potato zombies sound incredible when they kill you. Look of light gray potato peels. Yeah, I have lime potato peels here. I think it's probably the equivalent of, like terracotta maybe i see the bridge you guys have built i'm um, headed your way the spiders are horrendous there are potato spiders yeah just putting it out there incredibly cursed real bad can you tell us if the void is still the void or if it's a potato void <laughs> there's only one way to be sure poisonous potato armor <laughs> <laughs> honestly poisonous potato anything just seems to have been what they decided on in this one you can also make a hot potato with potato and lava <laughs> Okay. Incredible. The community went nuts a while ago over somebody on the dev team having a frying table tab open <laughs> in their... Uh, <laughs> I've just found the crafting oh recipe God. for the frying table. <laughs> po poisonous Politra? <laughs> okay. Um, well, you can make it Politra? You can craft Poisonous Politra. <laughs> Um, if you kill a few phantoms for phantom membrane and just craft those together with a poisonous potato. I have a feeling that's intended progression, given that this is a void world. I can only help but wonder about the inspiration 
from this from this snapshot. I mean, of course it came from a potato. Yeah, but... <laughs> I'm gonna say, I think there's at least one very obvious inspiration, Bruno. <laughs> yes, but like, what was it? Maybe it was the poisonous potato being useless that Ulraf was talking about. Definitely that. Definitely let's give this all the uses. Potato copper! I found is potato it, copper or is it just It's it's just regular just copper, copper, but it's uh it's an ah, okay. it's an ore block that provides it. Oh Gravitator. Bruno, I think I found a shipwreck. <laughs> I think I found a shipwreck down here. Yes. yes. <laughs> what? Let's check it out. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let me place a potato fruit so we can see. We <laughs> what a sentence. Okay, I think I can dig in from this side, so I can probably find a treasure chest. Yes. Where yes. Did you guys head? Uh, up towards the jungle-looking biome. Now I have iron ingots and copper. It's giving me the recipe for a potato battery <laughs> that looks like a daylight what? sensor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this so much. It's so it's so exciting finding new things every so often. <laughs> I think I got a carrot yeah, from right. one of the zombies, and I'm wondering if carrots are like heretical in this dimension. Yeah. <laughs> Am I allowed to eat this carrot, or will I be cast out? Oh, thank you. Potato. <gasps> what are you? They say potato. Oh, toxic resin. I found what you found, Toy Cat. <laughs> I found. Yeah, they they're non-stackable. It's very odd. I I don't know what you're meant to do with them, but it, we've. These these the block? these ones are stackable. It says abysmal clarity air bubble impurities. Wait, I disco I wanted I wanted to look at the sunrise and I discovered that I'm looking at a potato rice. <laughs> really? really? Oh gosh, I need to get to the top of this. <laughs> uh, fuel. Though. Okay. I see a potato desert. Having now seen the quote unquote sun. Um. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's definitely. Oh, I hear phantoms. A phantom. Yeah, got one. Yeah, no, no. Phantoms are during the day. Yeah, yeah, they're during the day here, I think. <laughs> this biome is cool, though. <laughs> I really like the trees. Is this what the... lies be behind the portal at the ancient city? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just it's like... Just like <laughs> what, once, we, once we crack the mystery of the ancient city, it turns out it just leads back to potato world. <laughs> okay, so I've been able to make a frying table. It doesn't seem to do a whole lot. Like, I can't really interact with it yet. Although I guess it might be like a campfire, so maybe if we have some food that we can cook on it, poisonous oh, potatoes try. don't work. So I think... Oh, I oh. put potatoes oh. in. Okay. Ah, there we go. Right, it seems very potato-themed then. <laughs> Bruno, here Tiny you go. Uh, Ulraf, this, no. is, this is for you. I've gotten everybody their personal frying tables. Sorry for a distraction, I have but one. I found a potato mine shaft. <laughs> oh, okay, right. Uh, give us the coordinates. We need that. Uh, if you just if you follow the green potato blocks, uh, I'm over here. Uh, Olraf can see me. Uh, yeah, at the I'm edge, where right. the jungle meets the farmland, it's just down there. Wait a second. There are potato peelings here. Yeah, I, I peeled a I peeled a cow. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> a normal yeah, sentence, worry. good. <laughs> That's oh. The mine shafts that hang from chains like that are my favorite anyway, but seeing it above the void like that is is too tempting. I like the inclusion of a normal amethyst geode in this landscape. <laughs> it's actually an amethyst potatoed. <laughs> a potatoed, yeah. I like how we've split up here into groups of two. We're really following the spuddy system. <laughs> yeah, the geode is right down here. I'll be right back. I, I'm, I'm impressed. Ah, potato creeper! <laughs> I just heard the explosion and ducked. I do really enjoy that you can make baked potato bricks. Clearly a feature they need to add to regular Minecraft. I've uh, <laughs> many a time have had too many baked potatoes and not enough blocks. What's that, dude? I heard it. I hear Ulraf getting zapped by guardians. I think that's what that is. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that boss bar? Okay, okay. Keep what? Come over here. There what? is what? It's a... it's something interesting it... that I, I can fly with. Pick up the no! Oh, it's already taken some that... damage. <laughs> that's good, I suppose. Yeah, so that's where the eyes lead to. Oh, okay, new recipe for this. What is <laughs> Okay, okay. The white cloud looking stuff is made of a block that is called Flotato. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, get all of that. I'm getting, I'm getting as much of it as I can reach from here. And you got a recipe, right? I did get a recipe. Yeah. What is the recipe? What can you make with it? That is the thing I've been waiting for. I need three poisonous potatoes, five blocks of flotato, and a hot potato, and it makes something called a flotator. Yes. Yes, that is exactly what we need. Get a bunch of those. Let's go to the village and regroup. This is the unlock moment, guys. It's going to be amazing. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, you mean you mean there's more than that you one have we've seen so no far? Idea. <laughs> yeah, don't even know. I've had no idea this whole time, Ulraf. I don't know what's <laughs> changed. Look out, Bruno. Oh! 
Okay, oh, no. too late. I gave you ample warning. <laughs> That's not on me. There are potato bees. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I've seen them. Honey glazed potatoes. <laughs> okay, I have found the village, I think. If this is a different village, I'll be surprised. It's got a hedge maze. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Most of it is potato themed. Most of it! <laughs> I'm finally able to craft poison potato armor. Shall I do it and just find out Please. What, what it does? Yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh, the potato villages are so cool looking. <laughs> do you want to know what it does? <laughs> Please. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Good. The librarian is asking for 24 paper for one poisonous potato. Uh -huh. Or 20... Training. 28 amber gems and a book for a an enchanted book of potatofication 2. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you know what we need to do, right? No, you killed it. <laughs> he peeled him. I it might. <laughs> yeah, I figured peeling him might be the solution, but it didn't seem like it was. Peeling him is never the solution. <laughs> Just pretend that didn't happen. Oh. Okay, there is a okay. fletching table in one of the- Oh my god, the GUI is expanding to include all of the text. <laughs> okay, good. Fletching blemished clarity, chemical impurities into clouded clarity, shrug emoji impurities. <laughs> I have no so idea can, what's going on. You it's, need a feather to power it. And it's looking for, I think, really specific types of this resin stuff that it's turning them into other things. And there's just a dollar sign in the output slot. This is wacky. Like, I like this stuff. <laughs> I I would genuinely spend an entire day figuring out what that did and probably not get anywhere close. The fact that the GUI expands to cover the entire screen is just Beautiful. hilarious. <laughs> I need to get buckets at some stage because um, I need lava for the hot potatoes because that's what we need to make the flotator. I saw there was lava back down the way we came, but I didn't have a bucket. I've, I've made some poisonous potatoes which is what the boots are called. Um, and now I'm making a poisonous potato chest plate. You can't put raw meat on the frying tables. It's only potatoes. Like I can't cook the mutton or the beef. <laughs> are we in the raw meat dimension? <laughs> Fair point. I have enough iron now that I can make buckets and I'll come back with some buckets of lava and we can start making the flotator. Oh. I can't remember where I went to get back to that lava pool, but I did see one. We need if you one... want, I can do a quick fly of my elytra on the area and then... Or you can take the elytra even, give it a shot. Well, if you want to bring back some lava buckets for us, then I can give you the buckets. If we need to make multiple of these flotators, we need a bucket of lava for each one. Yes. Two can be thrown into lava directly to reuse uh... a single block. Oh, 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 maybe we can make hot potatoes instead of crafting them. Okay, do we have lava? Yes. Here you go. That's the lava all right. Oh, there it goes. It did it. Don't fall in. Okay, holding this burns me. Ah! Ah, holding out potato burns you? <laughs> yeah. Put it, put it in the chest, put it in the chest. Oh, you're eating it. I, I ate it. it. <laughs> I, of course I ate it. Oh, no. oh, oh no. that's yeah. brilliant. Hold, he held the whole potato too long. Wait. I, I, I broke it. So now they're in the it chest, right? Uh -oh. There's a few of them in the chest. Okay, cool. <laughs> Bruno, okay. you okay there? Yes. Um, okay, wait, I'm gonna try to make another chest. Okay, uh, putting it in the crafting interface uh, to turn it into a flotator um, does prevent it from burning you for a second. Okay, I have made three flotators. They are in the more empty of the two chests here. I have 55 flotato and I have at least one flotator for everyone. Is this gonna be That's some cool. kind of, like vehicle well that's up to you really <laughs> <laughs> okay so these are the two blocks we should all have but i feel like right now is the time just to activate it see what happens later oh yeah oh Sorry. hello you do you want to jump on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> a little late for that dude doesn't need a pickaxe <laughs> yeah no but it's oh go. that's not what i should have done no 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 i i have not played around too much with it but there we go. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Oh. What do you mean what? Look around you. <laughs> that is unbelievable. How does it even decide? I'm, I have so many questions. You can place blocks on it. That's why you have the flotato. Because you can place flotatoes me there. Right. Okay. Boom. Oh. 
Yeah, no, I didn't realize that was what was happening. I thought I was placing it on uh, one of the faces of this, but no, that's that's fascinating. So we get a, a collection of blocks. I am totally stuck here, by the way. <laughs> I went into creative. Maybe I did that early, but I think we, we're at that stage. The fact that it just smoothly disconnects from the lever that I just used to power it is very funny. After so long playing around with redstone fly machines using slime blocks and pistons this feels so smooth by comparison okay, so let's say it's we have really a house mechanical. you see the house i do yes. see the house can i put a roof yes. on the house you can put the, a roof on the house, quote unquote, yes. the house the important part of this house is that it's not touching the ground you see that there is a side that looks like a piston head missing yes that's where yes. the pushing is going but you see the sticky part needs to be connected to whatever like you want. Right. Exactly. And it basically uh, figures out <laughs> oh. all the connected blocks. So it's moving the entire connected blocks. And you can't break yeah, any of them it while it's... Limit, right? <laughs> there is a limit, yes. Uh, that's why it doesn't move the entire thing if it's connected to the ground. Because there's a limit to yes. how many blocks. Yeah, the, the oh. limit is more blocks than this house, though, which is quite impressive. <laughs> Wow, okay. What a what a voyage. I like the fact that we also moonwalk while we're riding it. <laughs> the fact that it has relativity, that I'm jumping up and down on this on top of the middle yes. block of the roof, but it's not yeah. moving underneath me. That's fascinating. Oh, look at the panda moonwalking as well. Oh, oh, oh we're running into a cloud. Into a cloud. Oh. Green, it just oh, it up. Almost. Yeah, it will. We're wrong. <laughs> yeah, we're just, we're just uh, picking up bits of other other uh, scenery as we ah, go. You can't you can't interact with the blocks that are moving. No. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, so you can't break any of the stuff out from underneath you. And you can't like steer it really. It just goes in one direction until it stops because you, you can't mean, you can't interact with anything on it in the meantime. So Wait, you could you could have different directions of these. There is a flotator block limit game rule. Oh, uh, <laughs> so so you can increase it if you. Um, okay, so I set a fun new rule. <laughs> <laughs> the flotator uh, okay. size limit is now ten million. You want to crash the server? I see. That's a, that's a fun. Okay, we'll spin, turn it down. We'll turn it down too. We might be able to move an island. I doubt it. This is now broken. I think. Yeah, Maybe the server not... is not responding. Oh, ah, no. okay. I think. I <laughs> I get Who could have done that? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it it, st it stopped moving when you changed the block limit. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, the server just crashed. Just, just got kicked. So the plan now, right, is to take one of those to the uh, the end dimension. Um, once you beat the dragon on the central island, you drive the entire central island out to the end island. <laughs> Bring everything, including the obsidian pillars, with you. I mean, I thought the f about the fact that I think just placing one of these on an end ship might just work oh yes please can we do that once the server's we back just up just like warp to it. warp us to the also, end i want to fight the potato boss too oh yeah That's yeah we yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Right. there's so much stuff in this like we've barely scratched the surface i feel like i was looking in the creative inventory and there was like hash browns and stuff and i'm like what do those do <laughs> it's like the borg cube <laughs> <laughs> Resistance is futile, especially if the block limit is this high. I think I'm pretty sure there is a grappling hook in this. Is that what that is? There is a oh. potato page on the creative inventory. Yeah. Oh, yep, yep. It's a grappling there's hook. There's a potato. There is this. Whoa! Yeah, yes. Yep. Okay. The grappling hook is amazing. I'm figuring it out. The lashing potato lets you grapple to stuff at a distance, and then you can kind of swing, and then you can let go, and then you can keep swinging. <laughs> Underneath oh. some of these islands is going to be the ideal place to test this. Yeah! Oh gosh, this should absolutely be a thing. Are you kidding me? Do you have a control? Yeah, I can control the direction I'm swinging. Oh yeah, wow. I feel like Tarzan. Oh, come to come to the abandoned mineshaft with this. Oh, oh no. the boss is here again. Ah, I'm falling. Oh, it caught me. Yeah! When you fall down, you get the end what? credit. <laughs> you get the, you get the end credits. I'm getting Worms Ninja Rope vibes from this grappling hook, I gotta say. It's like the physics are a little bit wonky, but it's just just mad enough that it works. Just Wait, so. there are new paintings. Oh yeah? <laughs> are they potato themed perchance? 
They are potato. They, of course, they are potato. <laughs> I had a feeling. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very good update. Okay, this one says it's not a potato. So is everyone ready to see what it is? <laughs> Sissy nipa. Un pomme de terre. <laughs> oh my god, it's a potato on fire. I bet there's a whole meta game to this grappling hook. Yeah, honestly, the grappling hook alone could be so many interesting parkour courses. They don't seem to poison you in this dimension as a whole, I don't think. I could be wrong. I, I haven't been oh, poisoned really? yet. I mean, we're in the potato dimension. It took me a little while to realize that when you make the poisonous potato armor, it basically eats it for you as you go. So it doesn't lose durability from combat. It loses durability because you eat it. Ah. Uh... And then that means that you don't have to uh, eat food because it replenishes your hunger for you. Yeah, that's why my hunger wasn't going down because I had a shirt on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. The entire... Someone took the wall. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the entire <laughs> signboard just started moving. <laughs> that is incredible. Ah, down here. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering what you were doing. I saw you cutting blocks away. <laughs> You're like, I'm, I must, I must let... Sure it would get my, my creation must continue. <laughs> I gotta say that from this angle, it kind of looks like a big salmon. Do you remember the boss was down here somewhere? Should we go... Yeah, yeah, there should be yes. one down here. Po Potatiesh, great stuff of the peasant. I don't know what that means. Um, I'm That's the one that makes the portal soon. Oh, is it? Right, okay. I'm now wearing a stack of boots on my... <laughs> I don't know if that's intended. <laughs> You can stack them. Yeah, oh, like yeah, you can. I, I wow. put I pulled a stack of them out. I guess it, if it blocks full damage, then uh... I ate. I don't know what hunted golden poisonous potato. You just get <laughs> a lot of bad luck and poison. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it gives you hearts, but so much poison that it takes all the hearts away. So it doesn't really help. What a good game! What an excellent game! Okay, we're in. I don't know. I don't know what to expect in terms of the fight. But this is a bastion, a potato bastion, I believe. I mean, it sounds like it's already taking... Okay, this is just a piglin bastion with all the blocks replaced with potatoes. Good. Are you fighting already? Oh! Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, you can... Bad. Yep. <laughs> so the, na the knockback on that hammer hits projectiles back at them very fast. Oh. The poisonous potato hammer has knockback 10. It is also stackable, for the record. I had an enchanted golden apple. It still murdered me in two heads. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think we need normal armor, maybe? Yeah, normal armor sounds good. Oh, wow. No, that does a lot of damage. How are we uh, meant to... <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Sure Death attack potato magic player. Do you have to pro deflect the projectiles back at it? Because I can't seem to do much damage to it up close. Yeah, I've been trying ranged weapons, and they've not been doing anything either. It's gotta be a... Uh, it's a Ganondorf fight, yeah. Oh, but you see that it has the Wither Shield. Oh, now it doesn't have the Wither Shield. Yeah, now you can hurt it. I don't know huh. what it is. Is it healing, maybe? Oh, maybe we need to kill all its minions first or something? He's on me. And now it has a shield. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's kill all the minions. Maybe it's like trial. This thing is loud, too. The, the Guardian things just dropped some resin. <laughs> Maybe we can use that on the fletching table. Oh my gosh, Piglin Brutes. <laughs> Hello. And Piglin Brutes with a knockback mace. Oh, a knockback hammer here. Incredible. Man, there are so many subtitles. <laughs> it's filling up so much of my screen. <laughs> what? Okay. I think the name it has is related to the to the stuff it sounds. Oh, it's it's small here. It's, it's trying to run away. It's also shrinking. Every time you kill like yeah, one of its phases, it uh, shrinks. 
<laughs> oh, now they're stacking. Now they're stacking. And all it took was a bunch of cheated in golden apples. Yes. Full netherite armor. Okay, I've cornered it oh, over here, but it's... Oh, giant! A giant! Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's, um... Oh, that's... Okay, the... The potato, the, the potato is behind you. Doesn't help that he's, like, a pixel wide at this point. Oh, tiny little bit of health oh, left. Take him down. Yeah! What did drop? drop? I have no idea. Uh, corrupted potato peels. Uh, yeah, I have... Some. I have one of these, uh, staffs now. That, that create the portals. Ah, the portal. That might be it. Maybe that's what you get, yeah. Yeah, I, could, I couldn't see, in, in all of the panic of the end of that, I couldn't see what, if anything, it dropped. It's time to leave the potato I mentioned. It took us to a mine shop. I like how... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to your tomb. An 11 by 3 mine shaft <laughs> with oh nothing God, in it. So I got a few toxic resins, if you guys want to check out the fletching table. <laughs> Is it possible to okay, check out the fletching table? <laughs> Galactic impurities, fishy impu- Oh wait, hang on. Clouded clarity, fishy impurities. I have one! I have those! Okay. So, so now I need to put a feather into this as well. <coughs> okay. Clouded clarity, fishing impurities. Okay, it's- Oh! And the feather does like a little animation? And then it comes out with dull clarity, metallic impurities. Which is what it says now on the- Now the name- the name changed, right? So if you break that in survival, you now have a fletching table that is a very specific fletching table. Yeah, now- now it says requires clouded clarity, fishy impurities, produces metallic impurities. And if you create the full cycle, eventually you get embers. <laughs> oh, okay, and that's what you use to trade with villagers now. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's the new villager balance. Yes, new re villager rebalancing system. Yeah, great. What an incredible use for the fletching table, though. I bet Cubfan is so happy. Let me see if Are I we can. trying to float a uh, mansion? Is that yeah, what's happening? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get up into the sky. I'm yeah. To... My big issue. You Damn can gonna... clone oh. it up, but yeah, there's clone a it up. very small yeah. limit to oh. blocks, I think. Totally forgot I was still in survival when I did that. Let me try that again. Okay, I've I've I found an end city ship. Oh. So uh, if anybody wants to uh, pop over. I'm here. Okay, I'll make it fly through. Yeah, I'll, I'll spawn in a flotator. It seems all connected. Yeah, I think it is. You just need that to touch. Yeah, I think. No, you're gonna run into the city though. You want it the other way around. I think. Oh, is it the other way? Thing. So I, I attach it to like the mast there. The... Yeah, that should work. What happens with the shulkers? Oh. Is it moving? It's working! Oh, that's so cool! Yeah, we left the shulkers floating behind. Okay. Yes! <laughs> Finally! That's so cool. Incredible! The best and... way to explore the Endur. And, and what design that it actually works with this, too. That's so great. Mm, I think you, you we can do the same with the city, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the next. Yeah. Disconnect the city from the ground. Okay, it's moving I'm now. Guessing, it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm guessing something was diagonal. And then when it moved, it ran into itself, so it stopped. Yeah, uh... it's happening. So we're slowly picking up all the diagonal blocks. <laughs> He's slowly assembling the... Uh... The end city. I'll pu I'll put down a um. What was it? A flotato. I'll put that down so I can stop, and then uh, you guys can catch up. What happens when two of these things collide? Are they just going to stop each other? Oh yeah. I would guess they don't collide because both are not blocks. It's it's Let's the unstoppable uh, force and the amoral object. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to stop us, but. What will happen to us though? Would oh yeah. Oh, we've oh, yeah. Wow. we've just we just phased through. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, yeah, we'll we'll stop on the other side of the city, send the city forward, no, and we'll no, catch no. up. We're gonna stop it exactly here and see what happens. Oh, <laughs> we we've kitty prided our way into the <laughs> into the city. Yes, exactly. Now, if I power this again, I'll just be moving you with. Me. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll be we'll oh, yeah. be picked up also. <laughs> wow. Oh. Now we're all together. Notice that this turned on. Man, I just, I love the image of this entire city floating through the void, though. That's so cool. That is... <laughs> this, is this is the way to travel in Minecraft. <laughs> it really is. Oh, you just, you just docked with blocks. another island. <laughs> we're we're yeah, picking we're pick up some new blocks. We're picking Don't up a, a shipment of bricks on the way. 
<laughs> I like all the all the lighting kind of turns off temporarily whilst we're in we're in like stealth mode. <laughs> as if anything about this is stealthy. <laughs> as, if, as if it's silent running, you know? What? Okay, so I've, I've got an idea. Oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. Gagey says it moves mm. faster if you have multiple working. Really? Wait, but how oh. do you activate multiple? With like a line of redstone that wire, I guess? Main end island is that way? We should move the ship that way and we'll hit oh, the dragon. Yes, yes, there. return to home. <laughs> wait, 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 Bruno, we don't want this direction. We want the other direction. We'll go the direction, I say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm the captain now. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Sorry, when you broke when you broke the ones I placed, I feel so Oh, oh my oh. god! <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> You can't even you can't even catch up. Look at all Raf trying to get onto the ship. That's about twenty blocks per second, I think, right now. Judging by our Z coordinate, we're about to uh, we're about to come up on the uh, yes. the central island. Yeah. Land ahoy! There, there it is. Nothing can stop us now. We need to stop all of them. It's the oh the dragon <laughs> the dragon fog. <laughs> Imagine fighting a dragon from one of these and just like moving it around the sides of the arena. <laughs> Should we try moving the whole end island now? Is that the next logical step? It's just impossible to stop. I think we broke it. I'm trying yeah. to put flotators and it's not stopping. I, th I think we just, just need to let, let it go. Let, let it, it go. fly into unloaded chunks. Let it go. <laughs> let it go. These are let the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> Let's move the whole end island. I, if we no, just you, what? The, the you want to crash this server? Yes. <laughs> Honestly, I would have expected something like moving that end city to crash the server, so I think we at least give it a try. So I think it was definitely over 500 blocks already. That end city was probably like... I, I've already done 1300. Oh! So oh. Try it. What's going on? It's moving! The whole thing oh, is moved. moving! It is working, because all of the endermen yeah, are moonwalking in place. Are moving, but the players are falling down. I think something... It's I'm, trying. I'm on it. I'm on it and I'm going. I'm in creative mode, if that helps. Yeah, I'm in creative for two. I'm TP to you. Oh, now I see it. Oh, it's probably like depending on rendering. You need to be in the right place for it. Possibly, yeah. Yes. There you go. So yeah, it it is uh, moving on the Z axis. <laughs> it is moving. We have to put more, more <laughs> flotators and, and go faster. Okay, I've got another oh, idea. Oh, okay. I'm <laughs> flying above it, and now I can see it moving. Toy Toycat has another idea, which apparently involves building a missile. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> They're all flotators, right? And we activate 31 yes. of them all at the same time. Hypothetically. Imagine um. the speed we could accomplish. <laughs> He's if going... I, but I love me. Look at this silent moving. It's... Oh my god. He's, oh. he's attempting ludicrous speed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I think it's connected. It's straight. I feel like I'm flying. Not the island. Yeah. Like, oh. I look down... Oh. Whoa! <laughs> 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 Someone clipped up, oh my god! I got to see you move for about a second and a half, <laughs> and then you were just oh. gone. Kenji, <laughs> this is the best thing in the world. These, so I, don't, I don't care how game breaking they are, put these in vanilla. <laughs> put them in the game. <laughs> <laughs> that needs to go in a trial chamber or something. <laughs> a whole trial chamber should move around your world. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Imagine a, a structure that just keeps moving around your world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you have to catch it in order to, in order to explore it. Imagine that structure is the end island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm adding a couple more. I think you uh, you stopped the island because of the giant uh, bank of flotators. Oh. And if we, I guess, do a couple more of I these. I want to say that before moving the island, when everything looked glitchy, Gagey was saying, oh, it's probably too big. Try smaller. Nah. <laughs> so we <can> <laughs> nah, nah we're, we're good. <laughs> I, I think I think let's let's stick with five. I think five is okay. five is approachable. Five is. Wait, wait. Let's do something else because this is unstoppable. Remember? Can oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, oh it's it it okay. went. Okay. It's gone. <laughs> yeah, I see the end of it moving. Yeah, now yeah, yeah. now it's the front of this. There it is. Now it's rendered. I love that we're going past more of Toy Cat's experiments. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's like Toy Cat's lab or okay. 
I want to see you zoom by, Torgat. Like, do a thing in our direction and just see us oh, speak yeah. by above us. I want to see you zoom I, in. We passed the pillar that I made earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here it, it is. So slowly. Yes, we're colliding the... Oh, there's our ship. <laughs> our previous ship is still going. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I just saw it, like, flicker in to the render distance. It's, uh... I'm I'm inc I'm incredibly impressed with this server, but we are, we're about to dock. There we go, yeah. Our old ship collided with another end city, <laughs> so it's now formed a mega end city out here. Oh, <laughs> it's the only thing that could stop it because it was flying too high for everything else. What a game! What a very good game! I can't believe we made something that just could not be turned off as well. <laughs> That's really funny. The engine. Things I never thought I would see. The central end island docked with the outer ring of islands. <laughs> I wonder what happens if you summon the dragon again, if it respawns all the pillars back there. Oh, it might. It might. I can try it. Although I don't know uh, if it's going to work around this portal, right? It's not uh, It's not happening here. No. <laughs> I want to... I yeah, want to... You're about to ride on this. something wild right here. Okay. Yeah. Let me, let me uh, teleport to you. Hang on. Okay. So, <laughs> the world's know, so... fastest house. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> but it's, it's not fast in the way you might be expecting. House as well. Yeah, I was <laughs> waiting. <for> <laughs> <you>. <laughs> No! <laughs> oh my god. It, it breaks to the way it reaches build, build height. Oh, does it? It like smashes into the world height and, and destroys itself? Oh, where did all the bricks go? Yeah. That's okay. so funny. Now, logically, we have to try the reverse. <laughs> into the void with it. Okay. Let's go. You ready? Emotionally? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Turn it on. Oh! Oh! Ah! oh. Oh, wow. oh <laughs> yeah, just it's surprisingly early full point. I was, I mean, I guess this is the end, but yeah, you can't you can't it. put blocks any lower than this. I was hoping it would remain an entity and keep going. Yeah, it's interesting that it. Yeah, but it didn't do the same while going up. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> right then. Yeah, it wasn't connected. Well, <laughs> okay, we're off. Having air travel to somebody else's base, like you can make something that just looked like a real world plane and put one of these in it and just fly somewhere else yes. on the server. You've got to set it up like space travel where you just dock somewhere else instead of like Look, landing. Look, all, all this stuff we, all this stuff we moved. Yeah, yeah, all of the little dots of uh, <laughs> flotators in the sky. What I'm thinking is you could use this to steal someone out of base. Like literally it's there, <laughs> you want it? Fly it home. <laughs> oh, there, there's, there's the old end island. I can see the crystals and the end gateway that we generated. <laughs> like a train as well, like a train running on like anvil tracks. I'm just okay, enjoying this is interesting. going underneath yeah. all of the end islands. Interesting contraption you got going on over here. We got some plans. Why do the engines the need to be on the outside? They can be on the inside. That's that's, true. that's what that's what Toyka is doing here. Farewell. Yeah, <laughs> I'm making an engine room. It's gonna be gonna be beautiful. <laughs> it's be the best I've ever seen. Oh my goodness, so many. I like the fact that you can make this. <laughs> adjustable so we can choose speed using this engine room. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of, uh... The speed we have chosen is fast. <laughs> <laughs> Ludicrous speed. I want to be able to look outside. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, at a, at a window. I'm, I'm going to witness how fast this travels away from the outside. Um, <laughs> I'm probably going to see it for like a fraction of a second and then it's gone. You need okay. to give me a countdown when you're going to launch it. I put the you ready? Down. It's ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Launch. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Where, where are you? Oh, I, why am I? Oh, you got... <laughs> I think I have to go, guys. I think I got to go. But, yeah, um... it's getting late. Oh, this was a delight. <laughs> and where, what better place to leave it than here? The... In the potato dimension. Yeah, I don't think I look at the potatoes in my house that I'm going to cook the same way. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, I will. I will make. I'll make fries very differently from now on. <laughs>